Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my channel where we talk about all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle items. So in today's video, I thought I would do a haul, like a quarantine haul of all the fun things that I got. And I have everything from books to vitamins to makeup and a couple of tech items, home items, if you wanna call it that. Um, so without further ado, let's just jump into the video. So during quarantine, my passion for finance and finance related topics, this could be stock market investments, saving for your future, retirement, anything like that. Um, I really developed a love for it and I found a way to make it fun and interesting. I think a lot of people don't like to talk about finance because the topic can seem very boring. It can seem a little bit um, embarrassing if you're in debt or you have a bad credit score, which is nothing to be ashamed of, by the way, because I was there too at one point. And I'm happy to say that through my financial freedom journey, I have overcome that. So there are ways. So if you do have bad credit or you are in debt, don't be discouraged. Um, maybe these, some of these books will be helpful to you. So the first book I purchased is called Knock in Finance. It's by Tina Hay. And this is the ultimate beginner's guide to finance. If you know absolutely nothing about finance, just the fact that, you know, you eventually have to retire and maybe, you know, the basics of spending versus income. This book covers everything and I highly recommend it. It is such an easy read. It has amazing pictures in it that just make it simple. And let me show you. So the way that Tina Hay has written this book is amazing for beginners. Not only does she have pictures, but she also has a vocab word and definition part in each chapter. She has fun facts, she has tips, there's chapter quizzes so you can um, make sure that you understand what you've read. And it covers everything from you know, basic finances, credit, credit scores, college tuition, credit cards, uh, retirement, it even covers a little bit of different types of investments like stocks and bonds. It also covers um, Bitcoin and the stock market, things like that. So it's a great book for beginners to give you an overall idea of what finance is all about and the different parts of finance that basically make up a, a person's life. So the next group of books I purchased. Um, I purchased them all individually, but they are basically the same concept. And they're by Michelle Kagan. And her books are things like this, where it's Investing 101, um, Stock Market 101, Sales 101, and the last one I have is Debt 101. And there's more books in this series, if you want to call it that, but they're very great detailed books, yet easy to understand for specific topics. So these books were written for people that don't know much about a specific topic. Um, one example being the stock market. It gives you the history of the stock market, the different types of investments. It tells you how the stock market works. How does a company get on the stock market? Things like that. And each book is catered to its topic. And I just love these books. I think they're very interesting. And the way that they're written is in a way that doesn't make the topic boring. It's very straight and to the point, but it gives you a lot of great information. So if you're looking to get into finance or maybe you just have a low credit score, you have some debt and you're not sure what steps you should take to get out of those and you're not sure what steps to take to overcome that, 
Um, I would highly recommend the Napkin Finance book for you and Debt 101. I think it'll give you some great tips and tricks on where to start just because when you are in debt or you do have a better credit score, there's so many things that you need to do and it can be overwhelming and you're not sure where to start. So those two books will help you tremendously. The next finance book I purchased is called Clever Girl Finance. I did like this book. I didn't love it. Um, one of the main reasons is because it was a lot of story time about the author, which I do appreciate. You know, she was giving her real life examples and kind of what she went through. So I do love it, love the concept. It was just a little bit too much conversational topic for me. I prefer books that are straight to the point, easy to, un to understand. I don't necessarily need a lot of fluff to make it enjoyable. Um, so that's the reason why I didn't love this book, but I did think it was a good read. I just, if you're just starting out, I don't think I would recommend this one to you. I think Napkin Finance or one of the Michelle Kagan 101 books is a much better option for you. So the last book I picked up is called Passive Income Aggressive Retirement, The Secret to Freedom, Flexibility, and Financial Independence and How to Get Started. This book is by Rachel Richards and she actually ended up retiring at the age of 27 and she now lives off of $10,000 plus dollars per month. Um, and in this book, she kind of tells about her story and then tips and tricks on how to gain financial freedom. She also talks about different passive income methods. Um, I think a lot of you know that YouTube is one passive income. So all of these books were purchased from Amazon and for the most part, all of them were very, very entertaining. And I'm not a reader myself. I probably read one book every year. So for me to read six books in a matter of three months was big. Some of these I was able to finish in two or three days because I just wanted to know what happened next. I think we all have this idea that we want to retire when we're 65. We don't want to work for the rest of our lives. And these books will give you tips, tools, tricks, everything on how to achieve that. And one of the biggest messages is to start sooner rather than later, um, because then you have more time for your money to grow in an account, like an investment in account. So of this group of books that I have, um, the three that I highly recommend would be Investment 101, Stock Market 101, and Tina Hayes Napkin Finance. I think the, all the 101 books like this were probably nine to $10. They were super, super inexpensive and they contained a wealth of information. And then not, Napkin Finance was super inexpensive as well. I think it was maybe $17 on Amazon, maybe 20. I know not everybody can afford all of these books. So if you are a beginner and you are looking to just maybe pick up one, then I would definitely go with Napkin Finance. You're going to touch on a lot of topics that all these other books cover, and she makes it a fun way to learn finance. So I would highly recommend that book. So moving on to vitamins, as I've mentioned in some other videos, I've been an acne sufferer since 21. I never had it when I was like 12 or 13, but I started getting acne when I hit 21, which is considered adult acne, which is not the greatest thing in the world. But one thing I noticed was besides my uh, skincare system, one thing that has really helped my skin is Ollie Vitamins. And for years, I've always taken um, glowing skin. This one, I think previously used to be called Vibrant Skin and recently they changed the name of it but it's the same blue packaging. But I've taken that one and I'll, I've taken Flawless Complexion for years as well. And so while taking both of these, 
what I've done is, let's just say January, I'll take Glowing Skin, which used to be Vibrant Skin, then in February, I'll do Flawless Complexion, and then I just keep alternating them every month. And recently, when I was at Target to pick up more vitamins, I noticed that they came out with a new one, and it's called Skin Bright, and it looks like this. And it says that it supports even tone and pigment. So I'm interested to see how these work because I suffer from acne. Um, I do have some pigmentation spots. There's not many left because of the skincare line I'm using. But I, in my opinion, every little bit helps, whether it be anti-aging stuff or for pigmentation. You know, a girl will take what she can get. So I'm really interested to try those. And if you have tried these and you like them or don't like them, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. If you take other Ollie vitamins, let me know what you use. So far, everything that I've tried from their line, I really, really liked, and I have noticed a difference. So I would love to know what you guys use as well. So next up, we have my hair vitamins. And I have taken these for, gosh, two years maybe three years um and i can't even remember it's been so long but they've worked so well so that's a good thing right and this is hair to men and i don't know if you guys have seen it maybe on instagram i know layla milani is one of the founders and lily galici who owns lily lashes this is also their co-partners in this brand and it's a vegan capsule that you take once a day and I have to say, I have noticed a huge difference in my hair. And not only is my hair stronger, it doesn't, meaning it doesn't break off as easily, it's shinier and it's growing at a faster rate. For some reason, my hair, once it kind of gets almost to my chest, it just stops growing. And sometimes my hair will grow longer, but it'll start to get straggly, so I'll have to get those cut off. So this hair to men vitamin is the advanced formula. They do have one in a baby pink bottle that is for moms. And I actually have taken those even though I'm not pregnant and or breastfeeding, I took those and I really did enjoy them. Um, it also contains stuff for morning sickness, which is great. But I decided to switch back to the advanced formula. And you can buy them in ones threes sixes and twelves so i just decided to buy the three pack um just because they were out of the six pack i believe um but i love these vitamins they're easy to digest the pill size is also pretty small i wouldn't say it's super tiny but it's not overly large like a horse pill myself personally my right tonsil is extremely large and it has been since i was born it basically takes over like half of my throat so for me swallowing pills is very very hard because i tend to choke on them a lot and with this i don't choke on it it goes down pretty smooth i take my hair vitamin right after dinner ever since i was pregnant my routine was to take all of my vitamins at night before bed I don't know why it just worked for me and it was something that I could do consistently. So I keep all of these on my nightstand and I just take them before bed and I've never had a problem with upset stomach or anything like that. Um, but if you wanted to try any of the Ollie vitamins or the hair to mint, just make sure to talk to your doctor before if you're on any medication or you're not sure if it's right for you. So next up, a couple beauty products that I purchased during quarantine is I purchased another Kat Von D shade and light contour palette i know everybody has this and for good reason because honestly it is such a good palette and um it just works so well it is very pigmented and typically for me i use these two shades which is shadow play and subconscious and i haven't really played with the highlight shades yet um just because i just discovered a new setting powder and I've really been loving it and I only have a sample size but I want to keep playing with it before I purchase it 
So that's why I haven't touched those yet. But for contour shades, it's amazing. So if you don't have one, I definitely would invest in one. I think you will love it. So the second item I purchased is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And the second I saw this palette, the colors just gravitated towards me. So personally for me, I don't think my skills are kind of up to par for these crazy colorful looks. But typically what I do is I'll do a pretty color on the lid and then in the crease, I will do a brown shade or I'll darken it up with a gray, something like that to keep it neutral and tame a little bit. But when I saw this palette, I just thought it was so beautiful. And to be honest, when I saw it online, I thought it was gorgeous and I knew I wanted it. But when I got it in person and I actually swatched it, it was 10 times more beautiful than I've ever seen it online. To be honest, when other YouTubers or the beauty gurus, if you want to call them that, reviewed it, of course it looked nice, but the camera and photography just does not do it justice. It is so pigmented and beautiful. Um, I'll show you this shade right here. This one is called Live In My Best, and it is so bright. It is so pretty. And then this one on my ring finger, I'm not a professional swatcher by any means, but the one on my ring finger is this really neon coral color. And that one is called Positivity. And that's the one I'm wearing on my lids right now. So I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better. So here is my lid color. And overall, it's so beautiful. I just, I love it. So I do love this palette so much. I do want to mention though, if you use it, a lot of the colors are pigments, which means that when you go to take your makeup off, or you're swatching it, it may stain your fingers. Like I walk, wash my hands and they're kind of stained a little bit. To me, that doesn't bother me, but if you're somebody that has sensitive eyes, that might bother you. Or if you have somewhere to be and you did a crazy red and pink look the night before, your skin might be stained. So I just want to give you guys that little fact. And then next up, which I couldn't resist, was the Norvina 4 palette. And this is another Pro Pigment Palette. So here is the palette. And one thing I absolutely love is the fact that it comes with a huge mirror. This is so great for travel. But I love the colors in it. Pinks, purples, nudes are kind of my vibe. But it also has this stunning yellow shade. And I actually wore it the other day and I've gotten so many compliments on it. It was so pretty. So here it is. It's super bright. It's super gorgeous. That one is D2. And I overall really love this palette. Another really cool thing about this palette is the fact that it has two shades that are what I consider to be all glitter. They're very chunky when you feel it but i think if you were to put a base down my other fingers are stained i think if you were to put a base down this would be so beautiful it is a thicker textured glitter almost like loose glitter um for mac or any other brand like that but the glitters are so beautiful so i can't wait to play with those i think they're going to be really fun so my next purchase is kind of still in the beauty category and it would be this Impressions Vanity Mirror and you can tap to turn it on, it turns on a light um, and it did come with a magnifying mirror with, as well. I think this on Amazon was $30 or $35. It was fairly inexpensive in my opinion. So overall, I love the mirror. It's great. It does what it's supposed to do. The lights are great. Um, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth to the mirror so that way you can play music. There's speakers in the back. I personally don't do that just because I have Sonos speakers throughout my house. So I prefer music on the Sonos speakers. Um, it also did come with the five times, sorry, I'm not trying to blame you guys. Um, 
five times magnifying mirror, which is great. The only thing I'm not loving about the mirror is the base. It is cheap plastic. And I'm scared that I'm gonna go to move it and it's just gonna fall over because it's such flimsy plastic. I wish it would have been a little bit sturdier, but other than that, I do love the mirror. It works great. It does what it's supposed to do. So if you were looking for an inexpensive vanity mirror, um, maybe you can't afford the big impression vanity mirrors. I know I can at the moment. This is a great option for you. Just keep in mind that the base is super flimsy. It is plastic. But so far, it hasn't fallen over, it hasn't cracked, nothing like that. So I think it'll last for a while, but I don't think it'll last a lifetime. And lastly, this was kind of an unexpected Amazon purchase. It was just me laying in bed late at night, scrolling through Amazon, buying random stuff. Um, this is a iPad stand. So you put your iPad on it, you can stand it up, you can do it horizontal, and it just has little rubber feet right here, so that way it stays. It is metal. I don't know if it's what kind of metal, stainless steel, I'm not sure. Uh, but it has some weight to it. So that way if your iPad's on it, you don't have to worry about your iPad falling over or anything like that. This also is super adjustable. It's very hard to move. Um, it does have a lot of um, pull if that makes sense, which I don't mind because typically once it's set in place, I usually don't adjust it, but it is nice that it is hard to adjust because that way your iPad isn't going to fall off or the stand is just gonna drop and then your iPad drops. So I do appreciate that feature. Another nice feature about this is there is a hole in the back so you can run your um, charging cord through the back and then you can bring it up to the front. So that way there's no issues with charging. It's honestly such a great stand if you have an iPad. Um, I think it'll fit an iPad mini as well. I use this for my phone too. I use this for my phone as well. If I'm doing something, I can just prop my phone up and it stands perfectly fine. I'll just show you so you can see. So it works perfectly, phones, iPads, I think it's great. On Amazon, this was probably around 20 bucks, $22. It was super inexpensive. And the brand is Lamacall. And everything that I mentioned, I will link down below in the description in case you guys wanted to check out anything. If you purchased anything during quarantine, let me know what you purchased. I would love to hear from you. It seems like everybody had five or six Amazon boxes showing up at their house every day. But if you're one of those where you were severely affected by COVID and you lost your job, I'm so sorry that happened to you. We are all going through it together. So if you didn't have the money to spend on anything extra, don't feel bad, don't feel ashamed, it's okay. And once we recover together and you're able to go back to work and save your money, you know, these items aren't going anywhere, they're not limited edition you'll be able to purchase them in the future but don't feel bad don't be embarrassed everybody's in a different situation and that's okay so if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day i hope you are all staying happy and healthy and that your families are healthy as well and until next time bye guys